Hello, it's Lawrence Romanowski from Calgary, Canada, um, shooting from the Lug Nuts facility. And uh, we've got some interesting projects here. This is um, a Series 3 E-Type restoration uh, that's uh, undergoing its final fettling. And uh, behind that, uh, we've got the Series 1961 Series 2 88-inch Land Rover. And uh, we do have another surprise here. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is a one of about 150 spikers. This is a C8 Roadster. So this would be by far the most common. They made a, a hard top called the Laviolette and then the Roadster, which was the soft top. Uh, they made a handful of other cars. Uh, but this was mostly their production run. So this car, um, it hasn't run uh, in 15 years. Well, actually we got it to run uh, briefly, um, but we're going to uh, do a major service on this car. We've tilted the rear bodywork up, which requires some disassembly. Uh, we, can, uh, we took the, um, uh, the uh, underbody panels off and we're going to give it a major service and uh, a major detail and what we're going to do today uh, is we're going to use our cryoblaster machine at lug nuts uh, and uh, we're going to clean up um, you know all of the you know the, the car has virtually no mileage on it uh, but still it was washed and uh, we're going to uh, clean up the uh, the chassis of the car, and the engine of the car. I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you the state of it before and after. And we'll use the light pressure cryo blaster so as not to damage any stickers or markings. Uh, and we're just gonna clean it up. You know, light surface rust on the steel brake rotors, um, light uh, corrosion on some of the fasteners, uh, water stains. Uh, you know, where the water's pooled after it was washed on some of the under trays. Bring back the aluminum uh, uh, castings for the suspension uh, and the body and just bring it up to like brand new condition. So that's, that's our objective, is to make this car look the same as the day it was built. So I'll turn the camera around and we'll just do a slow walk around and I'll show you some of the areas that we will address with the uh, with the, the low pressure cryoblaster, uh, which is the right tool for this particular job. Okay, so we we took we've taken the rear bodywork off. We had to take the dry sump oil tank off. The fuel hoses and stuff are all disconnected, and it's designed to rotate like that. But there is some disassembly, and so when you get in there, you know you can see that uh, it's a little bit dusty. Um, we can look at the uh, suspension. Any, any kind of a steel rotor, the minute you wash it, uh, is gonna have some light corrosion, so we're gonna address that. Um, it's got some brake dust uh, in, the, uh, in the caliper. Uh, that's the handbrake, uh, the handbrake caliper. We're gonna clean up the backs of the rotors, or sorry, of the caliper here, and the back of the hub. We'll do the suspension arms. We'll get in there and get that uh, those uh, wishbones cleaned up. We'll be careful not to disturb any of these original stickers. And this is a, uh, a heat foil. And so we're not gonna blast that off. So we'll be careful there. Um, we'll get in the uh, wheel arches. We can see for whatever reason, we've got some light corrosion on some of these fasteners. These we might have to take off and dip to get that off. It might be a little bit too heavy for this cryo blaster. But again, we want to use this to clean it up, but, but not damage anything. So uh, we can get in there and clean up the alloy uh, uh, casing for the gearbox. Um, we can look at these hoses and uh, uh, clean those up a little bit. So we can do a lot in here now that it's accessible. And uh, we'll walk around the rest of it. And we can see again um, these areas that we can freshen, okay? Um, let's go around the front. 
And again, we've got the light corrosion on some of these uh, brake discs. We can see the ball joints again. Um, you know, anytime it's threaded like that, it's gonna take the oil off. If it takes the oil off, then you know, the metal's exposed. If the metal's exposed and there's any humidity, it's gonna rust, so we'll take care of that. And um, get in there and just blow out all of that dust. You wouldn't be able to do that with water, and then if you have water, it's gonna pool and it's gonna create the same problem that you're trying to that you're trying to solve. So the dry ice blows everything out. The combination of the temperature and the mild uh, abrasive uh, will clean everything up, but it'll blow the dirt out of everywhere too. So that's something that, and then not leave any residue because the CO2 uh, sublimates and turns into a gas. Um, uh, so, okay, we'll get in there and let's see how we do. We'll uh, show you the cryoblaster machine here. We've got the yellow air hose, we've got the gun, and then uh, the uh, frozen CO2, that's minus 70. Um, and uh, there's the gun. So we'll get started uh, on uh, carefully cleaning up the spiker. Okay, so this machine is about 70 decibels, uh, which means that even the shop backs louder than it, but still, I'll put some earplugs in. Um, so let's get those in. Um, it is cold, uh, and so I'll just use the one glove to, um, uh, to protect my hand. Um, you know, we ha I have actually sprayed my leg and it hurts, but it doesn't bleed or anything like that. So it's a pretty mild system. And uh, you can see the, the CO2 being fired out. So the machine grinds it up into very small pieces and then blows it out. And uh, the pressure we're using and the velocity and so forth is enough to clean up the car, but it's not enough to damage the paint. We have to be careful on the foil. We have to be careful on the stickers. Uh, we were not gonna use it on the fabric. Although actually we could, we just have to pull far back. So obviously, you know, a valuable car, we're going to err on the side of caution and we'll just make sure that uh, we don't damage anything. So we'll start with the brakes. And we can see the back of the rotor here. Sorry, the back of the caliper. So for here, we've got a sticker with some dates on it. And, uh, you know, I don't want to wreck the, I don't want to rub the, 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 the markings off because that's important for the car. But if I hold the cryoblast back, you know, I, can, I can clean up the label and not disturb the markings. label here and so I'll hit it from a, a, a high distance and just be really careful with it. So if you're careful you know at the, at the first sign you know you can see that if it's peeling it, and uh, and it didn't, so you're able to clean that up nicely uh, without uh, without wrecking the label.
So we're done all four corners now. Uh, and uh, having a lift, uh, the cryo machine in combination with the lift is fantastic, uh, fantastic combination because uh, we can raise the car up. And now we can address the undercarriage of the car and, the and just get at everything from multiple different angles. So being able to hide the car uh, facilitates that uh, and makes it uh, a whole lot easier. Also, you don't break your back. So it's pretty clean under here. Uh, we've taken off the, um, we can see the, the uh, belly pans there, which we've taken off. We'll spray those. Um, and uh, it's pretty clean, obviously, underneath there, but we'll still give the bottom of the suspension, uh, some of the uh, diffuser and so on, a blast. Sometimes the light, the light staining, it, it, you, what you need is aluminum polish for that. Uh, but items like this thin sort of residue on the, the diff casing, you know, that, these are the areas that we'll focus on, and we should be able to make that really nice. And you can see we don't even disturb the factory white paint. I don't know if you can see those on the sides. So you can, you can get the aluminum shine back, but uh, not even... Um, not even disturb those globs of white paint. And that's important on this car, you know, because it has such low mileage uh, that we want to make sure we, we don't disturb any of the factory markings. But you try getting in there with a toothbrush to clean it, see how long you last. <laughs> Okay, so you can see the, uh, the job it does on the fender liners, which is just fantastic. There's still a little bit of work to do on this car. For instance, I'm not sure why those two fasteners are rusty, but we'll take those out and coat them. Um, but uh, there's a huge difference there. Uh, and it's just really been uh, completely brought back to life. So it's a bit of a time consuming process. You need to be careful, uh, but uh, a couple hours and we'll clean this car in the way that just wouldn't be possible uh, with either just rags or with, uh, with a pressure washer.